evening. Today we're doing a video review of the GoToLink Magic Ball Crystal Sound Activated RGB Bluetooth LED Stage Light with Sound Control. Um, essentially here it's already unboxed for you. We have the physical light and just to give this a little up close feature here, you have your back forward play pause. You have an SD card slot for MP3s and a USB uh, port here for your jump drives. Uh, which have mp3s on them. There's also some mounting holes so you can mount this. Uh, ventilation and I'm not sure if you can see in there or not but there is a speaker built in. Uh, this is the back side here. Um, you can see the speaker a little bit better here and again you have a fair size power cord here. Uh, nothing real lengthy. Um, the quality uh, it's a little bit of a lighter build. It's very light um, if you're looking for something that's for professional use, um, something that you're really going to be just packing around a lot, this would probably serve as a little too light duty for you. However, for home parties or church events, uh, those type of applications, this would obviously be sufficient. Um, the price obviously is comparative to the type of build it is. Um, so again, you're not paying $100, $200. This is for a very low economical price, which makes this ideal for home applications, uh, kids' parties, portable events, churches, plays, uh, those type of events in general. I'm going to go ahead and uh, first I'll go over exactly what comes with it. You will receive the remote control. Um, and when I was messing with it earlier, I did notice if you can see that the buttons unfortunately do stick a little. So you have to mess with them sometimes, but they do work. Um, if you're really light, they work fine. But if you're a little too heavy handed, sometimes they will stick. Um, this operates on two AAA batteries, a very common battery. They're cheap. They are not included again. Um, so I've already gone ahead and put two of those in. Um, it also came with a little USB drive. However, I had the luck of the draw. Unfortunately, mine was corrupt. So I couldn't play anything on this. Um, I couldn't format it on my computer. I'm not sure what size this is. I didn't see any uh, details in the specifications online um, or actually in the little piece of paper here which outlines the features. Uh, as far as what the purpose of that was. Um, as you can see, the power consumption is 25 watts. Uh, the lead source is an RGBY WP lead, 6 by 3 watts. Um, so here you'll get a red, blue, green, yellow strobe at a wide angle. The beam angle is 120 degrees. Light dimension 180, 180 by 150 millimeters. Um, it is an ABS plastic with a transparent crystal cover. Uh, it is sound activated, or you can have it as just like an automatic uh, light show here. So I'm going to quick go over the basic features of it. First thing you would want to do, of course, is plug it in. There is no triple prong, so a typical plug will be perfectly sufficient the Bluetooth for device is ready to pair. Now, the Bluetooth device is connected uh, successfully. As you can hear that, I've actually already gone ahead and uh, paired this. So when you go to pair this, when you go to your Bluetooth devices, so if you would turn that on, it's going to go automatically into pairing mode. You go to your device and you look for a device called ZTV-CT01DA. You would click pair and again, once you turn it on the next time, it remembers that and it will start to do it. I'm going to show you the first thing without anything plane or anything. Um, let's see if you can see this. I'm going to turn out the light. There we go. So now you can actually see, and I'm going to go ahead and take the camera. That would be just your basic setting, you know, and you do have, um, if you hit the forward button, which I showed you before the buttons, you can change the type of a light you're going to get or have a, the ability to view. So those are, again, you have a lot of different features here. Uh, it does go a very good room. And now that is playing on my Bluetooth phone. They roll the sidewalks in this town all up after the sun goes down. 
So that was actually playing off my Bluetooth phone. So when it goes into the Bluetooth, it's sound activated. As you can see, it goes to the music. So you also have two other features here. And you have to excuse me, I'm working one-handed. The first one is you can use your jump drives. So if you put an MP3 player on it, or an MP3, it plugs in. Music. Starts playing. On the remote, you do have a volume. I'm going to turn that nice and down. And you can also go skip ahead. And if you want to pause it, you can pause it. And say I wanted to go back to the Bluetooth with my phone, I can use this mode button here to do that. So again, no music's playing, and as you can see, it's back to the regular, uh, just a default visual for you. I'm going to unplug this. And as you can see, it defaults to the next plugged in source. And now I'm going to go to the SD slot. And when I pull this out, it's going to automatically go back to the Bluetooth since that connected. Another nice thing is if you have your music um, on an SD card, or I should say a micro SD card, such as I do, you can put your MP3s on a micro SD card and use an adapter so your music can actually go on the SD card and go in there. So this way you can use music from a micro, a full-size SD card. Again, unfortunately, my jump drive that came with it. I'm not sure what was on it, but uh, a regular USB uh, jump drive would be perfectly fine. Uh, again, in terms of brightness, it's uh, pretty bright here. Uh, the volume's decent. Um, it's not a lot of bass. So again, this would be great for, you know, your Halloween events. Uh, if you have Christmas parties, um, this would be great for kids' birthday parties. That'd be my primary use of this. Um, and again, for the price, right now they're going for $18.99 on Amazon Prime. You really can't go wrong. Again, I do have to point out, this does unfortunately have some sticky buttons here. And this unfortunately came uh, unable to be used or formatted. Um, but overall, I have my own jump drives here. And the remote, you have the same features up here you can use on here. So as you plug in the device, it will automatically go to either the SD card or the USB. When you pull those out, it'll automatically defer to the Bluetooth, which the other nice feature is it talks to. It'll tell you about it's in the pairing mode. It will tell you when it's connected. Um, it's a very low power consuming light. And that pretty much wraps up this review. Again, this is the uh, go-to link Magic Ball Crystal Sound Activated RGB Bluetooth LED Stage Light.